Hello, hello, and welcome back to The Winning Wallet, where we know it's never too early and never too late to start taking better care of our finances. Hi, guys. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you're enjoying your day wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Um, I am going to be cash stuffing my daily envelope binder today. Uh, I have a new binder on the way. Can't wait to get that. I'm trying to adjust going from the A6 down to the A7. Um and trying to get it all together. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you are coming back, I really appreciate you being here again. Um, getting to know some of you in the community has been so much fun. Um, along with our daily binder that we're going to be stuffing today, I did want to show you briefly some of the budget adjustments I've done. Uh, and that will be, I hope, staying secure and stable moving forward. Um, there was another video I was watching. I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was. Um, oh, maybe Mystic Budgets, I think. Um, she was making adjustments to um, her budget because something was coming due. And I think that that is one of the great benefits of using this cash system is that the money is allocated for certain categories. But because we're saving, if something comes due or there's something unexpected, chances are we have that money. It might be in a different place, but we have it somewhere because we've been working on our savings. And I think that's a fantastic benefit to be able to go somewhere else to get the money um, when we need it. So let's count our cash. We'll do that right now. And for today's cash stuffing, we should have $220. So we have 100, then 50, and 12. Oh. <laughs> Not many of each bill. Let's move these back a little bit. There we go. And 10, 20, 30, 40, and 10. So our total today, $220. So good to know. Now, the small binder um, has been working pretty well, but again, I just transitioned to it. Uh, and I'm still learning, you guys. I am still learning as we go. I did update um, the big trackers for the A6 into these small teeny weeny trackers. <laughs> <laughs> they're so cute, but they're so little. I have decided to separate my grocery um, allocation and shopping from dining out. I didn't do that um, early November, so you will see everything here for, let me see if I can get that for you, um, for November so far. But going forward, I will be separating dining out from groceries. I think I need to know how much I'm spending on groceries, how much I'm spending on dining out, primarily Uber Eats, which is delivery, not even going out. Um, but because I live alone, I don't cook very much. Um, but I do like to eat healthy. I order in healthy meals. They last a long time for me, so it's worth the extra expense. So we will be stuffing today, 125, bringing us to 221. So let's go ahead and get our 125. So how is everybody doing? Have you been enjoying probably some cooler weather? Um, I live in a subtropical climate, so... <laughs> Having cool weather um, is very rare for us, but it's been wonderful. Um, right now it's about 55, 60 degrees, so it's beautiful. And after, you know, the summer of being in the 90s, almost 100, it, it's a nice refreshing change. So I hope you're doing well with the weather no matter where you are. So our $125, and then we have what is left in here. Let's count it all together to see what we have going forward. And I'm not going to be limiting um, the money that I spend very much on food because I'm limiting all my other shopping. 
<laughs> so I'm gonna be pretty liberal with myself with groceries and eating out, at least for now. So let's see what we have. 100, 50, 70, 90, 200, 10, 21. 221 moving forward. It'll be interesting to see how much I actually um, do buy weekly in groceries. So dining out today, we'll be getting $60. That'll be easy to count and get started. We have a 50 and a 60 for $60 in eating out. Um, I will be posting a video, kind of an emotional video, another shopping confession, because as I've been budgeting and as I've been going through this process, um, I've realized a few things and I want to share them with you in case it helps somebody else. It is a little bit emotional because I've made some discoveries. Um, so I look forward to sharing that with you guys and getting your feedback. Um, gas will be getting, I believe, 10 today. I'm pretty good with gas right now, have about half a tank. So adding in 10 today, we should have 20. And there we go, 10 and 20. I don't do a whole lot of driving. Um, that'll probably be changing with the holiday season coming up. The holiday season really is here. Uh, so that'll probably be changing. But for right now, I'm good on gas. Shopping, I have this in here. Um, the only shopping I'm planning on doing uh, coming up would be for some hand cream that I need. Other than that, pretty simple. So I will be... Um, Stuffing 10 today. Oop, let me fold that. Need to get used to these little teeny weeny envelopes. Do you guys prefer the A6 or the A7 for your daily envelopes? Um, I, you know, I don't know. I like this binder because it's so cute and I can just easily take out one of these envelopes to go with me if I need gas or shopping. So I think for that reason, I'll probably stick with this. Um, plus I did just invest in another uh, small binder, the A7. Um, but these are easier to work with, at least for me right now. Uh, I don't have enough practice with this one yet. And then household will be getting, let's see, 10, I believe. Yep, 10, that's just for anything I need for the house. Oh my goodness, do you hear my bird? That's Capone. Um, I need to talk softly, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> so I apologize if you can hear Capone. I'll put a picture of Capone um, right here so you can see his beautiful little face. He's my parrot. I've had him for over 35 years now, so he's part of my family, of course. And then other, uh, which I may be using for some of the shopping if I need to, I uh, had 10. And when I restuffed for one month ahead for my daily envelopes, I put in 40, so we should have 50. And then today, putting in five. So let's see what we have. Sorry if my voice is a little scratchy. I'm just kind of waking up here. Well, I've been up for a while, but my voice hasn't woken up yet. So we should have 55. So let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and five. So I appreciate you guys bearing with me and, you know, showing grace and patience as I learn how to navigate this budget system. Um, oh my goodness, Capone. Um, I really do appreciate you being here with me. And the other thing I wanted to share with you today is for anyone who might be considering getting into budgeting and feeling the pressure to purchase things or go out and get all these shiny binders. They are fun, but if your primary focus right now is saving every penny and really watching where your money goes, don't do this. Um, use regular envelopes. Use what you already have at the house. Chances are if you go through um, your closets and drawers, you'll find something that you can use to separate money. Don't let 
binders and not having these things keep you from getting started. I think getting started sometimes feels so intimidating because if you're not used to cash budgeting, if you're used to just everything coming in and going out of your bank account without really paying attention, or maybe you do pay attention, but your hands aren't right in it because it's electronic, don't feel like you need these things and don't feel that moving into a cash-based system um, requires this. It really doesn't. These are fun extras to add in if you're able and if you want to, but they are not necessary. And case in point is that even though I have this lovely binder, or not binder, but uh, workbook for budgeting that I started using for November, and I will show you um, in another video what's coming up for December, even though I have this and it's helpful for me, and I've, <clears throat> excuse me, I've enjoyed it, how I keep track of my daily spending is in a spiral notebook. That works for me, the system works for me. I like seeing the entire month in one place. I just use pencil and paper and my calculator and go through and do my calculate calculations as you can see. So for income, even though it's all written in this other budgeting, book. I do it on paper also, kind of as a checks and balances. So here are the figures for November and my income, fixed expenses, what I have left, my sinking funds, my savings, and, you know, questions that I'm going to be asking myself for December. This is my variable fund spending. Is it too low? Do I need to increase my food budget, which I did do, actually? And then I just list my actual expenditures for the month. I don't separate them out, at least not yet, by week. But this is just a spiral notebook with what I've spent. I'm not shopping, as you can see. I'm eating, I'm eating quite well, <laughs> but I'm not shopping. So this is very simple, and this is all I've spent so far in variable expenses um, for the month of November out of my budget. Now, I did go ahead and renew my car tags. Um, I have placed a couple of orders from Epic. Etsy. This is completely optional. Don't do this if you are watching every penny and really focused on saving your money, especially at the holiday season. Um, I do not have people to buy for, believe it or not. Yes, I have family. They will not let me buy for them. I do have friends, of course, but we don't normally trade gifts. Uh, we'll get together and share a meal over the holidays, but don't let not having these fancy things keep you from getting your hands into your money. So I wanted to show you my actual tracking for the month of November. And I think that's gonna do it for today's video. Just really short, really sweet, um, updating you as far as my daily cash envelopes, how I track my expenses uh, daily and weekly, just simple ways to get started if you're brand new to budgeting. Um, those who are long-term budgeters are probably rolling their eyes like, oh my God, look at what this chick is doing. <laughs> but I also know a lot of you are rooting for me and I really appreciate that. I hope you enjoy your day. Thank you for stopping by the winning wallet where we know it's never too early and never too late to start taking care of our finances. Please consider giving the video a like, a thumbs up, subscribing if you haven't already, hit that notification bell, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're doing with your budgeting. Are you making any adjustments for the holiday season? How is your tracking going? How do you track your expenses? Just pop in and say hello. It would mean a lot to me. So with that, I wish you a great day, a great night, and I will see you soon. Bye!